Hello, I'm Bill McCarthy, on behalf of Asia, to the sport of pistol shooting. It's a safe, non-contact sport requiring concentration, not especially physical fitness, that can be enjoyed by men and women of all ages for many years. Pistol shooting was one of the founding sports of the modern Olympics, and from the beginning, international competition has been promoted in this country. Since 1974, we've sent teams to all Commonwealth and Olympic Games, as well as world and regional championships. Our shooters have won many Commonwealth Games medals and other awards. Today, in all disciplines or aspects of shooting, our teams compete in competitions worldwide. Pistol matches from around the world cover a wide range of styles, from extreme precision to extreme speed. These are all administered by the New Zealand Pistol Association, formed in 1969 in response to police requirements for a national body to administer and control the sport. From that day to this, the NZPA has promoted pistol shooting in New Zealand and run all aspects of the sport through its standing committees. Today, there are more than 2,700 members in more than 80 clubs right throughout New Zealand. During the 1970s and 80s, all the major international pistol shooting disciplines were introduced. Negotiation for these matches and permission to import and use suitable pistols has been an important aspect of NZPA's operation. By the late 1980s, as well as Olympic matches initially allowed, muzzle loading, handgun metallic silhouette, and a range of action matches had been introduced. Now, in the 1990s, NZPA members can and do shoot virtually all of the internationally practiced pistol matches. The events shot here can be grouped into four sections administered by the NZPA. Let's take a look at each of these types of shooting in the order of their introduction to the New Zealand shooting scene. The classic pistol match is free pistol, traditionally the first competition to be completed at the Olympic Games. This match has been virtually unchanged since 1900. The pistol is usually a very accurate, specially made 22 single shot. It's a difficult precision match consisting of 60 single shots fired in two hours on a 50 meter range. Free pistol is an Olympic and Commonwealth Games event. It's quite demanding, teaches you to concentrate and certainly good shooting technique. Rapid fire, the other traditional Olympic match. Unlike free pistol, the main feature is speed. At 25 meters, one shot on each of five targets are fired in eight seconds, then repeated. Then there's a six second and a four second sequence. The second part of the match is a repeat, making a total of 60 shots. The pistol is normally a semi-automatic, firing 22 short ammunition for minimum recoil. Practice is required to make maximum use of the short time you have. The center fire match, shot at Commonwealth but not the Olympic Games, combines precision and speed by being shot in two 30-shot stages, precision and rapid fire, both at 25 meters. Are you ready? The precision stage is six six-minute series of five shots each on the precision target. The rapid fire stage consists of a series of five single shots 
fired at a rapid fire target exposed for only three seconds at a time, starting with a pistol at 45 degrees. When this match is shot by women and juniors with 22 pistol, it's called sport pistol. Sport pistol is an Olympic match and became a Commonwealth Games event in 1994. Standard pistol, introduced in 1970, although not shot at either the Commonwealth or the Olympic Games, is a very popular match at club level and for beginners. It uses all the aspects of pistol shooting skills and the widely available and owned .22 pistols and ammunition. On the precision target at 25 metres, four series of five shots are fired in two and a half minutes. Then four series at 20 seconds and four series at 10 seconds. Precision to fast in three steps. Air pistol is the newest UIT pistol match. In spite of the fact that air guns have been round for well over 100 years, introduced only in 1970, it is now an Olympic match for men and women, and really is a 10 metre version of free pistol, shot indoors with air pistols of .177 calibre at a very small target. Air pistol is the event that you should start in pistol shooting. It's cheap to, you can do training and it's the fuel that you move. And you there were cartridges or loaders, guns loaded with black powder and shot directly into the barrel and fired by an external source of ignition. This is how they all worked right up until the middle of the 19th century. After World War II, there was a resurgence of interest in shooting historic guns and national organizations and competitions were founded in the 50s and the 60s in the United States and Europe. The world body, MILAC, or Muzzle Loaders Associations International Committee, was formed in 1971. The flintlock is the earliest ignition system widely used today in muzzle loading matches. The flint strikes a steel plate, or frizzen, and sends a shower of sparks into a small amount of gunpowder in the pan. This should fire the main powder charge inside the barrel. If it doesn't, you have a flash in the pan. The percussion system, which replaced the flintlock in the early 1800s, uses an impact sensitive material inside a copper or brass cap. This cap is placed on a nipple leading to the barrel. Striking the cap sends the flame directly onto the main powder charge and fires the gun. The percussion revolver is six chambers firing sequentially through the same barrel. This concept led to the development of the modern breech-loading revolver. All MILAC matches are the same format, 13 shots in 30 minutes with only the best 10 scored. The three MILAC pistol matches are differentiated by the pistols used. Flintlock single shot, percussion single shot, and percussion revolver. As well as the latest black powder match for cartridge revolvers, an important transition firearm between muzzle loaders and modern pistols, the NZPA program also includes two Australian matches, 40 shot versions of the UIT free pistol and centre fire matches. MILAC encourages a keen interest in the history of muzzle loading and insists on original guns or very close replicas being used in its matches. NZPA matches also make provision for the more modern-designed black powder guns widely owned. 